G'day guys, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade. We are going to do the number two attempt for a world record at Mule. Playing Mule on the Atari 800 8-bit guys. And if you haven't seen the first record attempt, you might want to go watch that if you are unfamiliar with the game of Mule because I spent a lot of time throughout that whole video actually explaining how the game works. And we got ourselves an initial score. We used the expert species on that last one. We're going to change things up. I've learnt a few things too since the last attempt. And we're going to apply those for this particular go. A couple of things that I would like you to know. One is, is that if you're watching this particular video right now, it means that I have beaten my last attempt. Any attempt that I put up on video, the only ones that will go up online will be the ones that beat my previous attempt guys. So yes, I will have beaten whatever I had. <laughs> How far? We don't know yet. The other thing is is that the I found that the Commodore 64 version, which has the current two world records on Twin Galaxies, that version, even though it looks very similar to the Atari version, is actually slightly different. Um, for one, you can actually get more than one Wampus per turn. Now because that's different, there might be other code base differences, so it's no point me trying to chase that score, it's just not going to be apples to apples guys. Now there's no other Atari score actually up on Twin Galaxies right now, so I'm going for the highest score that I've found on Atari Age. And it's one that's actually got a couple of screenshots as well, so should be legit. Uh, and that sits at around 52,800 guys, so slightly less than the 57 odd or whatever the C64 one was. But this is more realistically what I need to aim for. And of course, the end game is is that if I can work out strategies to sort of get those that big score, and if the random events go my way, and I can figure out all those things optimally and trading strategies and all that stuff then once I feel like I've you know I'm really ready then we'll get whip out the hard uh, hardware from the uh, <laughs> whip out the hard okay uh, we'll whip out the real hardware set all that up and we'll film it for a twin galaxy submission so gonna be a little way off until then well let's enjoy the journey guys let's enjoy playing some mule together and I'm hoping that you guys will dust it off and get it into some mule as well uh, and we will get started the other major change so we're on tournament and one planeteer the options now when we get into choosing the character this time I'm gonna be blue again my favorite color in this game now we had the the humanoid last time, uh, it was less $400 to start, and we did pretty well in that game. Unfortunately we didn't get the 100000 for the uh, for the colony, which would have been good on the humanoid um, as a bit of a challenge, but we had a, such a shortage of time with the humanoid, it has less time than the rest of the characters, the normal characters have more, but the one that has the most time is the beginner species, which is the flapper. And the flapper gets an extra $600 to start with, actually helps with initial land purchases. But as I mentioned in the last video, you do get a lot of bad things happen to you being up the top of uh, the, the leaderboard right from the start. But I don't think those things really make as much difference as you know not having enough time or having a, a boost in money to get land at the start. So I think the strategy going forward guys is that we will, t we will take on the flapper. Twin Galaxies rules say you can choose any of these uh, species so the flapper is uh, perfectly fine to choose. So that's my strategy guys, I want the time, I want to be able to move things around on plots, I don't want to have empty plots because I'm not going to get production, all of that's going to impact the score. Alrighty, so let's get the flapper, and um, who knows what this game will bring. Boy, we had two pirate ships in the last one, can we get two meteorite strikes guys, that's what we want, meteorite strikes, crystallite deposits. Will we get lucky with where the crystallite deposit, high crystallite deposits are? It's always random where those are. And can we get some land through some of the early land auctions? All these things need to go right for us. Get a chance. 
so not stuffing around with the food plots this time guys we've got more time so we're going to get the top river plot <laughs> and I missed it and it got a block with two mountains on it so hopefully we can recover and get a river block we have one for sale out on the right hand side gonna try and pick it up since we have more money it's a little unfortunate that they're all gonna bid up the price for the land right in the first round but we have the extra cash guys because we are the flapper and they're gonna bug out right there at 644 <clears throat> and that's good at least we picked up the bit of land it was a bit, a bit crap that I missed the river plot but we'll hopefully should get one in the next turn um, what we probably can do really need food I've learnt before <laughs> but I don't have food and then you can't do anything so I might just put food out on the right um, it's a bit crap with the mountains because if I put a crystide up there even though I don't know what it is then uh, it may not produce anything uh, but look we'll, we'll, we'll just do that for this round guys and just see how we go we picked up a, a block of land that's alright bit of stuffing around with me uh, not getting the, the food right but who knows, maybe we just by fluke picked up a high crystallite plot right by the river. Which isn't good because you the block next to it on the river would be medium and you can't mine in the river. Alright, can we pick up a wampus? Got a bit of time. Down I was over this side. So much more time guys with the flapper, so much better. Oh jeez, these wampuses are all over the shop. Oh, come on. Wow. Okay, <clears throat> got the wampus. I get back to the pub. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, we'll sort that river plot out in the next go. We'll get past these guys, get a food out, no crystite up there, none there either. Alright, nothing up the top. Crystite there, no crystite there, high crystite there, okay, well that's right next to the red guy, so probably pick that up. After. None there, none down there, jeez, none there, wow, okay. It's either concentrated up around this top side or down the, the left for the high mediums, that's really interesting. Alright, no pre-event, we've got a pest attack, I only had only got one food though guys, and there's, this guy's got all his food, this is not good, because that means that everyone's going to do a run on the food, oh, it was a high crystallite plot, <laughs> that I fluked, uh, it must have been in my bones guys, alright, well that's not great with the food situation, um, and if anyone buys all the food then we're screwed for the next turn but at least I've got a food plot out there that could do something oh got the high over there interesting okay um, no one produced any smith or of course always a little slow on the first round of course if no one um, produces any smith ore that'll be a problem later in terms of mules 76 not a good price for Christite but seems we're early in the game I want to have enough cash to buy more land if land auctions come up so they won't sell at this but this stage of the game guys I'm cashing in cash in in All right, now the food, we're going to see what happens here. I got one at least, so actually that will allow me to at least do something, especially being the flapper, I do get a little extra. 
So I only need one. Uh, store has eight, and there's only seven altogether. So if no one gets greedy, then we should all be able to get what we need. But if the one computer guy buys a lot, which they sometimes do, then we're in trouble. Now, not really in trouble, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> you swine! All right, we're okay. We're okay. If we get that river plot, I'll put another food out. That I'll have enough time for that. Uh, energy's going to be a problem, though. Energy's now going to be a problem. This guy's got three, though, and he may sell those. The other ones only need two. All right, let's see what happens here. get one over so we'll have enough energy <coughs> need to get some produce though but want to get the food happening the other guy's just going to spoil his food all right let's better luck this time thank you get that rubber blot now damn the green guy for getting that one and that other high is taken, so that's all a bit crap in terms of taking good crystite plots. Alright, actually what I should do, just sort this out right now, is go put the energy out on the right and bring the food in. Let's just... Oh, because I don't have enough time, but can I do that at least? Yes I can, I've got plenty to do that. Again, very lucky guys, very lucky with the flapper having more time. We can do things like this even with a food shortage. Get the food on the river and we get ourselves back to square one. And let's try and get this wampus. Yep, got the wampus. Get back in the pub. Come on, my man. Try and maximise the dollars. Remember, only one wampus to turn on the Atari version. I got something bad. Luckily, we dodged a bullet. All right. Well, we who really passed this? We've got. He's got food shortages. He's going all in on crystite. Has a high crystite plot there, mind you. He's going to need energy, and it's not a lot of energy going around. We got one. Yeah, he's put out a food. No crystite. No crystite. Wow. Just no, a bit like none around there. They're all concentrated up on the top right. Get as many of those blocks as we can. Hopefully, there'll be some uh, land auctions, guys. All right, let's see how we look. Okay, no, no pre-event. So, okay, that's <laughs> a pirate. Oh, sorry, it's a piece of attack. I'm thinking pirate ships. Oh, it's a piece of attack on mine. And there's not much more food, and the other guy bought it all from the store last time. Oh well, it's not a complete disaster, but not great. There was no smith or at all, so we had no smith or auction. Means the meals are going to start going up. That's a terrible price for crystite. And I think I'll just... Oh, he's, mm, oh, he was sell he's selling up to 900. All right, let's let's stay with the strategy of ca of having enough cash to get extra land. I want to be a, above or at the highest point here, just at this starting auction. So normally not sell at 76, but that will be the strategy, guys. And this is the thing with this game, right? Like your strategies have to change constantly depending on what's going on. There's no single strategy for winning. You've got to change it up. And food, as we can see, we're all in disaster. So if I'm going to have no food, I'm literally not going to be able to do anything. If I can get, if he sold one, then the flapper might have enough to get one plot done. But this guy, this red guy's in front of me actually, so. Hey, got it, okay. 
Alright, well that might be enough guys. Just that one food might be enough to get out another another mule. And we got enough energy too, so it may actually there's quite a bit of a surplus there as well. It's only ten bucks. And the other guy needs two, and there might be a couple left over. Store only has two units. I'll see if I can buy anything left over at ten, but I don't. I think this guy might sell a few and then just stop. Ah, he sold out anyway. That's alright, we'll leave it there. And wasn't thinking too much about my next block of land, but it's pretty much just concentrating up on the top right hand corner. Um, although I must admit with a shortage of food it would be better if the plot was closer uh, my next one to get out, but I can't really risk not getting these ones next to the each other. Hmm, got a bit of a stripe going on here. I'll have that one in the middle sort of joining blocks. It's got a couple of mountains on it. I don't think there was any crystal up there, was there? Not a very good block. Not a very good block, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this guy get it for cheap, and then the land prices will stay down. And if another auction comes up, please another one with a bit of block. Please, please, please. Alright, well we got another one, and who knows what's down here, well it's at least a, a low because it's two down from the high, so it's a crystallite plot, um, and or an energy, so it's it's reasonable, so let's get this one, and look at that, no one else, cause they don't, well, they've got enough money but they don't want to do it because they won't have enough left over, so that was a good pick up, but we have two blocks and we've got no food, so um, we're not going to be able to put stuff out on both blocks, unfortunately. For now, it seems the top one is a medium crystite. I'm going to try and get a food out on that one down the bottom, if there's enough time. Let's see. Let us see. Wampus, Wampus, where are you? Quick, 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 show yourself! No. Okay. Is anyone doing Smithor at the moment? No one. That's not good, guys. I'm going to start running out of music. Oh, okay, he's put in a Smithor. Great. Two. On the mountains, that's awesome. Yep, there's no Crystallite over there. Next block is just going to go across, I think. <sighs> I wonder if there's crystite somewhere down there in the left where they haven't. Have a look. Oh, shit, there's none there either. Where's the other one? There's got to be three highs, guys, so maybe there is one in this bottom left here. Be good to know, because then I could actually just go straight there while the other computers aren't there and then get all those blocks around it. Hopefully we get to see that. I mean, I could assay the block myself and check it. Would be the way to do it. All right, we're going to get this over this food shortage. We've got a couple of food there. We've got energy up. That's good. My energy will go up. We've got a couple of food. Nothing bad. That's not a bad outcome. All right. Do I continue up the top next turn, or do I just snaffle a block that bottom left area and just hope that we've got a crystite going on there and build around it? Don't know, guys. Um, yep. Smith all price going up. Come on, my man. I did definitely sell because you'll want to get to, to the thousand at least. At 72, we'll probably sell them all. Alrighty, what 
what is the price of Christite? Sixty-eight. That's terrible, guys. This guy's stockpiling. I don't think. Oh, he'll sell again to get to near a thousand. I'm gonna have to sell because I need the money. In these early months, it's a real balance. Gotta have enough money to get the land, guys. Alrighty, well, I hope we get a bit of money here. I think, who was it? Oh, there was a few of us, so uh, we've all got excess, so uh, only one, okay. Well, unless I connect with the red guy, otherwise I'll get 88 at least for that one. Uh, cool, I might just wait. I don't want to be too greedy here because the others might just jump in front of me. There we go, 121, that's not bad. It stopped at 125, so... And now they can't sell to the store. As, uh, the store disappeared off the screen once it went higher. And that's just the nature of the game. Caught out. Being too greedy. Okay. Plenty of energy. Store already has a couple of units. I'm not interested in selling at that price. So I'm going to leave it there. reasonable guys, with a reasonable shape for the next turn. Okay, and I just got to figure out, am I going to go down the bottom? I think I am. I'm just going to risk it a little bit and try and get the blocks down the bottom. Those ones on the right though, no, no. I'll keep building out to the right and then if we get an opportunity to buy more, then I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But no, we'll keep them together. Because we, uh, yeah, we've got a couple of highs that sh should actually get underneath that red guy. Okay, another river plot. Um, sort of, I mean, it's a bit of insurance for the food, and you can put energy on them. Uh, so it might not be a bad one to pick up. I don't want to pay huge for it, though. And it's already getting close to my max here. I wonder if he's going to come down. I if, mm. Yeah, that was a little bit crap. But I, look, at the end of the day, oh, the green already had one too, so it's interesting. They wanted to put up and get it. That's okay. Can't mine on the on the on the uh, on the river, guys. So save them. We've already got two blocks. I've actually got a. Uh, fill up here and only one energy a little bit worried about the energy situation at the moment um, oh, we're going in reverse too because there's obviously a lack of mills So hopefully there's two mules at least for me, so I can uh, complete these blocks. Alright, I think this, this one, I'm going to put energy up there and we're going to do a bit of a shuffle on Christite as we get it guys. Uh, low up there, medium low, so actually, there must be another one, so there's three high deposits up there. What a shame we couldn't actually corner that whole top part, that would have produce so much crystite later on if we had all the blocks up there. Damn. That means there might actually not be one down in the bottom left then. Wow. Okay. So yeah, let's let's be a little bit conservative here. Yeah, and look at that. Only four mules left. Hopefully those other guys will pick it up on the smith ore. 
or we're going to be in trouble with mules. And yeah, we'll swap these out later, guys. I just have a feeling that we're going to be... Got the old Atari joystick still, guys. But yeah, I'm going to feel like we're going to be a little bit out of energy. Do they want us? Extra 200, worth getting. Get in the pub as well. <sighs> Alright, and food is up and all, oh, and, oh, and energy reduced on my two, <laughs> two energy blocks. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? My food will go up. But yeah, it's going to be a short of, of energy. A few of the guys got some smith out, which is good. Hopefully some of those will produce and we can get the smith law shortage under control. And it seems to be the way of the game, guys. You can have these games where you just have a lot of shortages and back and forth between different resources and causing all sorts of grief. Um, and that's really hard to get into Christite production because you're chasing your tail all the time. But anyway, we've, we've, we've played it safe, we've got enough food, we've, and we've generated actually quite a bit of energy too, uh, given the low energy. So yeah, look at that, Smith Law, 153. Well, they'll all sell and we'll do well out of that. That'll bring down the price, guys. Uh, and we'll get some mules back in the store. And this is the thing with the game, right? I mean, you can win with a smith or over a little bit, and when you're playing with humans, it's all very different because so much more, you know, so many more options and strategies that humans will do, and you can win games with smith or, but against the computer, generally, um, you know, Crystalite's the way to go, and you let them get the odd good one with the smith or and then the price comes down for the rest of the game and they do reasonably well but all right well chris Light's, uh not getting up above 100 which is not good but i need just a little bit of extra cash so i'll take it and only one unit anyway so cool food should get a reasonable return on the amount that we produced. Got seven to sell there. This guy wants four. Let's see if the others. Yep, they're being greedy again. <laughs> uh, I should have just. I should have made them go higher, eh, and then uh, lost the store so they couldn't sell at all, but... Let's not be, be that nasty, guys. Oops, I don't want to sell beyond critical. Alright, that's good. We've got, uh, got some good cash. Hopefully there's a land auction. Got some good energy. They need six. The red guy's not going to sell us one, I doubt. And there's only four units, so we'll let them buy it out. And if they want a couple at a higher price, they can keep bidding up. We'll see. Yeah, they're not going above 46, so we'll just leave it. This just gives us a bit of a buffer on the energy, guys. Um, we have some challenges there. Alright, so we're in second place. So we've dropped. Uh, but that's okay. Early days. Alright. I want to get this one over there. Even though it's right up in the corner. Alright, she would have been nice to get that one underneath. Because the red guy wasn't going to get it either. The medium one under. Oh, damn, no land auctions. That's a real shame. Alright, we can sort of shunt our 
things across. Although I think I'm actually going to go. Okay, no Chris, I've got to watch this. I'm going to trade in one of the energies since we've got a yeah, since we've got a little bit of a surplus. Um, to try and get two crystites out that will give us the magic three which regardless of where they are will produce an extra unit potential and because they're together we also get the economies of scale so it's worthwhile getting the three crystites out on development number five Difficult to catch. Get in the pub as well. Going all right, guys. Um, hopefully, we can get some good events, like some meteorite strikes, would be awesome. No pirates. That's what we want. No planet quakes either. Planet quakes can sometimes planet quakes will move a mountain and actually take out your mule on your plot. If you could put out another one again in the next round, and it halves mining production for that turn. So you don't want planet quakes, we don't want pirate ships, we don't want mules going crazy, we don't want food getting eating, eaten, although we've still, we've still got the two food out actually, I've got to sort that out. Okay, no pre-event, so it could be a pirate ship. If it's in production 5 and we get a pirate ship, I don't mind. Fire in the store, okay guys, well that is going to be interesting because we only produced four energy but we had enough from last time, we got plenty of food. We're actually in good position with a fire in the store because we've got all the staples. The crystal is high, we can do well, we can potentially sell these excess staples to the other guys because there's no units in the store. Not good for Smith or but these guys have produced heaps so that's awesome. Again, it just shows how the game dynamic just changes on an instant over a, over a single event, which is cool. You know, because sometimes the fire in a store doesn't really have much impact, depending on what everyone's produced and what they have. And uh, but in this case, yeah, it's gonna have a bit of an impact on them. And luckily, we are in a good position. Alright, the computer guys are doing pretty well too, so the overall colony score will be creeping up, uh, which is positive for that. And here we go, the red guy's going to really be able to cash in now. I got a good production. 104 is reasonable. So we can do some selling. Alrighty. Gonna be interesting now with the food and energy. What do we got? Ninety a starting price on food. <laughs> Guys. Ah they need nine and I have four excess, so it's gonna go the high bidder. They've got enough cash, so a little bit of wealth transfer as I like to like to call it. No need to worry about losing the uh, store at the bottom here. Off it goes. Okay, depends how much the green guy's going to buy now. I'll just uh, go to the max and see how we go here. Yeah, 204. Oh, <laughs> he only wanted one. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to teach me. Teach me for being a bit too greedy there myself. <laughs> Oh, we'll have some excess food, which means we can get rid of the additional food plot because we'll still have some left over. Look at the energy situation. Now, right now, I could shut all these guys out and they would produce nothing the next time around, which would be bad for the economy. Given though I've got enough money for land and stuff, 
um, and we'll make quite a bit on this and I could focus on energy on my next round I think I'm going to yeah sell out here depending on who goes if they go pretty high here then that's worth doing all right what's well, only gonna be the red guy the other two aren't going to produce anything this time around <coughs> Yep. Alright. So got the maximum there. The money's right up there. So let's hope we get some land auctions, guys. Haven't had any, any land auctions, but now I've got the money for it. Um, and we've got a shortage of food and energy, yeah. Uh, we're going to put our energy because we've just sold everything down to our critical level. So best thing we can do, if I can get that block. Oh, always challenging when it fl flicks from either side like that, guys. You, you've got a half a second. Ah, that's not a great block, though. That was a no crystite too. In the middle of nowhere. Wonder if I should just let that one go. Hate letting land go, though, guys. Let's see how high they take it. I mean, if I was going to beat the highest guy here, it would just be just silly money, really. If it was a crystallite plot, then sure, but yeah, this is a shame. This is a shame. I really wants it. <laughs> Would they, they try to outdo each other? That's, that's funny. And see, there you go. Oh no, well, it was close to that guy, so that's why he really wanted it. He'd really want this block. Alright, he's going for that, yeah. Off he goes again. I'll let him have it, guys, because this is going to pay some horrendous prices, and there's no crystite on them. Good for the red guy. Wow. This guy's got to be bidding the other guy up. I bet he drops. It's funny when watching the computers do it to each other. I've never seen it go that high. <laughs> See? Jump back down. Gave it to the green guy. What? Oh, because it was the red one, not the pink guy. Oh, yeah, no, no, the green's right there. Okay, well, that sort of makes sense, but wow, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. It's a shame, because now land prices are way up the wazoo. Okay, um, well, I said I was going to do energy. Need to get rid of that food, actually. So I think we'll get that food out, get an energy there, and another energy over to the, the top. We won't go all out on crystallite just yet. And that would keep us in a good good position. And remembering we sold down to critical level on energy anyway, so we don't want a non-producing crystite because we don't quite have enough energy, so energy is the go. Any mill? Um, Wampuses, sorry. Come on, where are you? Where are you? I hear you, but I can't see you. Oh, down the bottom left. Ah, change. Little pitch of them changes. Come on, come on. Okay, um, and you know they've moved to another mountain. When they move, you just got to go straight to the other mountain. And we get in the pub, guys, so not too bad. Development 6. So the only real problem at the moment is we haven't got enough land to really excel in the game. <clears throat> I just worked out the two, and the, all the crystallite highs are on this, concentrated on this top right here, and I have two of them. I didn't realise two highs next to each other, but at the top of the screen, it's just... It, it's not good because you don't get the star shape mediums and everything around them the other ones on the river so it's sort of quite low uh, potential for crystite how I'm going to get that block in between that's the one I want next but it's going to go bang bang it's going to be so hard to get that on the next land grab guys 
I'm going to have to be on my best reactions. And there's the good old pirate ship. <laughs> Got a reasonable amount of crystal there too, but no, well, better now, guys, than later. But I tell you what, if I get a, another one on month 11, I will not be happy. Mm. I reckon that red guy's going to actually try and get that block in between mine. And if I miss it, don't want to get one way over the left. I don't know where I'm going to go then. It's not going to be fun, guys, trying to get that next piece of land. To take a bit of a note, although it's a shame, actually, the pirate, that pirate ship has just knocked us back a little bit this month. Otherwise, we could have picked up quite a few extra for month six. So we've got 4,000 cash. It's not too bad. Remember guys, I have to beat my previous score, and obviously if you're watching this, it means that I did beat my previous score, so that is a good thing if you're watching right now. Alright, look at the food. Unreal. I swapped one of the food out, didn't I? Oh. So there's a huge shortage. Uh, hopefully this red guy will buy to it a ridiculous price. Come on, see how high we can make this. Mm, still pretty good though. I'll take it. Four eight eight eight. Lucky number for some. Energy one seventy three, guys. So look, we we did all right. We picked that one correctly, and they're all short of energy. By rights, they should be screaming up to grab it. At 173, I've got to be careful here, because I could make quite a bit of money. I don't really want to lose the store off the bottom here. I think I'm going to keep the store there. Sell it high at 208 as much as I can. I think I'll keep the excess and we might be able to do it again <laughs> next time around if they don't produce any more because that was pretty decent. Alright, now we've got to try and get this block, but where are we on the numbers? From 15,000 guys on number 6, so that's looking pretty good. In fact, you know, for us to get up over 30,000. Things keep going this way, that's looking pretty good. Colony's only at 34, mind you, because the other guys aren't doing very well. Short as your food. Alright, let's see if we can get this block. No, couldn't. So I'm going to try and get this one. Okay, so we really need to get a joining block. No, no more land. It's a real shame we're not getting any land auctions, guys, to pick up more land. It's a real shame. Okay, um, we did really well with the energy, so should we do the economies of scale thing? We've got a few extra energies, could put two food out and really clean up here. We've still got enough time to swap out into Christite. So, yeah, I'm going to normally be dabbling around in food and energy for profit, guys. <laughs> but... Again, that's just how this particular game is panning out, and you have to change your strategies. And having three food and three energy will give us the extra bonus production, uh, as well as having these two food next to each other and the other two energies next to each other. That's all a good result for production. Yours on the other side of the planet.
got to stand away from the mountain. You can't just stand on top of it or they won't show again. The little dot is a light coming out of the cave of the where the wampus lives. <laughs> That's why you see the flashing dot. But if you're standing on the mountain, it won't reappear. You've got to be standing to the side. That's why I do it that way. Okay, just while this is going on, I need to figure out my next blocks. Yeah, it'd be risky leaving it to the end to get those ones down there, guys. That's my only concern about that. Is there any crystal at all on the left? One, two, three. We got the main. We got the three highs on the right. What am I going to do next? Those will eventually be crystallite down the bottom. Oh, another planet quake. And look, see, the mountain's moving. Going to destroy those two blocks. Luckily, they weren't my blocks, guys. Our yeah, mining's going to be a little less, but wow, we missed a really bad situation there if that had occurred on mine. So it's not too bad, and we've done really well in these staples. I just got to risk getting one of those last two blocks down the bottom right as long as the other guys pick up their blocks first and I'm safe and they should the red guy might try and get the block underneath which would lead the very last one but I, I, I can at least get that Ooh, that's going to be risky guys that is going to be risky as hell but we'll try a little bit of cash to be made this person here buying at 43 these guys had <laughs> bugger all money left and uh, they're trying to get as much as they can get up around the thousand dollar mark for those computer AI ah, oh, good price for Christite but we had the planet quake so a little bit of a shame we had the pirate ship and a planet you know the planet quake really impacts the mining side of things but this particular month is hopefully going to be really good for food and energy next and so it sort of worked out well that we had those two bad events already and hopefully the uh, the likelihood of those two occurring reoccurring again will actually be less uh, still can reoccur though and look at this 235 for food guys so and the other guys unfortunately don't have a lot of money. The red guy might buy. They're not gonna have those other two don't have enough. So I'm gonna And the store store doesn't have any units. Still gonna be lucrative doing food for another month. Yep, he's the only one buying. Alright, well, well how high are you gonna go mate? <laughs> how high are you gonna go? That high? I'll take it. Alright guys, so the, the rest of the, the team is suffering. I am doing alright. That is good for a world record score attempt. Because it's only my score that we need to worry about, not the colony score. And right now, I'm actually killing it just through these uh, utilities and food. <laughs> which is not the uh, the normal game but unfortunately they don't have a lot of money so they're really not going to buy a lot off me but I'll give them what they want and we'll run it for another turn <laughs> look at their money guys 300, 200, 300, I mean again, it's just, and I've got 10,000, it's just, this is the randomness of the game, and then depending on the strategies you deploy, it can just change it so radically, alright, so guys, we're on 22,000, we are in a fairly good position here guys, to get a hot, you know, a good score here, can I get up? I mean, ideally, if we get up into the 40s, I mean, we only just pipped 30 last time. But, you know, I mean, obviously I need to get that 53 odd, but don't know if we're going to get there because I just don't feel like we've got enough blocks of land. So, unless that changes, 
pretty quickly. All right, let's see if I can get this block down the bottom here. This is a risky. Yep. Yep, thought that might happen. That's cool. We got those two blocks together. Safe. No land auctions, man. The next one, one, two. So we got three, four, five, six to go. So we'll get a free block next. Hopefully there's a free block and some land auctions. Man, we've got all this money and we can't buy the land. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, well guys, yeah, we weirdly, we are going to put out energy. <laughs> <laughs> Not crystalline. Because that is where the money is right now. All right, let's leave it at that, keep the food out as well, and looking out for a wampus. And it's all quiet. I'm serious. Oh, way over to the left. Wampus amounts going up, two guys at 300 there, and into the pub. Ha! Huh. Oh, it's a decent game. It's a decent game. As I said, doing the flapper and having the extra time, it's just, you, you, you need it, I think. If you're going for a world record, it's well worth it. Yeah. Just. Yeah, if the, if the Chris Light wasn't so bunched up, had more blocks of land, like a, with this game so far, you know, as long as I don't get any sort of major bad events, like this could have been a game that could got right up to the 50,000. I don't think I'm going to get there because of the not enough blocks. But let's see, this person got some some food and energy that's going to help them out. I'm going to have to put a bit of food and energy out now. Energy has increased! We've got four guys. Alright, so this might be the, the production where it all, we sell it all, and the price is going to come down, so then we can go into Christite. And hopefully clean up on Christite in the latter months. Look at that production. I am happy with that. The other guys have picked up a bit of energy, a little bit of food. The green guy, no second two food plots didn't produce, didn't have enough energy last time. Smithor has taken a nosedive at 36. They'll all sell though, because they're poor and they need money. I actually should buy. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm going to make a little bit of money on this. May as well. May as well. They'll want to sell up to 900, as long as I don't get more than 50. I don't think they had that, as, that much between them. And we'll sell that, guys, later. <laughs> there we go, we've got 32 units. We can make a bit of... Make a bit of profit on that when that goes back up. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Hey, and Chris Light's 124. Oh, a red guy outproduced me, mind you. Uh, that's good news. That's good news. So the best thing that could happen to us now, guys, is that we can get the free block of land. And I'm just going to have to hold the button and just hope I get whatever, because you can't be cheesy at this juncture. And two auctions happen for the final two, <laughs> which I could buy. That would be the ultimate, and that would actually put us in a really good position um, to get even a better score. So let's see what happens. The food price is insane. All right, that green guy's going to probably sell his extra one because he needs the money, and 
it's only the red guy and the red guy needs five so I'm gonna hang up the top guys and wait for the maximum price that the red guy's gonna buy those for I'm surprised the pink guy's coming up given that's gonna be all his money yeah I won't worry if he goes off the screen that's fine okay See if we can catch him or if he's just gone below the line. Yeah, went below the line. Alright. Really, really interesting guys because I'm making a lot on these utilities still. They don't need as many this time around though. And I really should sell in it at 165, so at least I think we'll just start offloading the energy. Not all of it, but a good, good 20 units or so, I think. Come on, come on. Come on. I need, I need to get to the, to the store, I need enough time. slow guys, I don't want to speed this up and then uh, do too many, a 20 is good, 15,000 on auction number 8, guys 28,000 and we're only on auction 8, alright, Oh, this is looking pretty damn good. Let's see. Now we're just going to hold my button here, get any block I can. That was a bit, bit of a crappy one, but... Land auction, land auction, land auction! <laughs> Would have been perfect. Alright. So... I don't know, it's a block with a mountain on it guys, it's no good for anything else, so we're just gonna, gonna ch chuck a, um, a crystite over there, and what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna start swapping these ones out. Sort of feel like I probably should have got one rid of one of those foods as well, to be honest, but sort of a little low on time. I think I'll just go for a wampus and then we'll sort that out on the next turn next turn. Three hundred on the wampus. Can I get back? guys oh boy okay so yeah we're heading into the last three months and if I can start swapping out these other ones for crystite to get maximum crystite and if these other prices go down for food and energy it might all come together for a good score just a shame we couldn't have got more pieces of land where we ended up with Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's not enough. I mean, twelve can be twelve, thirteen can be the at sort of the average. So you can get more, obviously. Just hardly any land auctions. <gasps> oh. Gosh, it would have been so good to pick up the meteorite strike. Wow. Oh, it's, a, it's a positive event, no negative event, so that's great. We get a really good crystite price this round, and with the staples still being up. 
Oh, Smith Lord's still rubbish. These guys are going to want to sell a few. The green and the purple guy. So I might pick up a few more here. <laughs> Oh boy, what am I doing dabbling in Smith Row? As long as I'm under 50 units, they won't spoil. Oh shit, how many did I have before though? I can't remember. Shit. I won't buy any more. <laughs> Doesn't show you your total. hold the 20 and potentially lose it if another pirate ship comes or do I hold it and hold it take the risk because it will either really boost me a better score a better price comes up it's not a huge amount to lose look at food look at the price of food so it's actually better having the food plots out all right so now they're going to sell them to the store and the price is going to come down. So I need to get out of food now. Because that's going to change everything. Race down, because the green guy's going to try and... Yeah, they'll get it anyway. Because he's below me. Alright, out of the food, guys. That's the next ones to change over. To Christite. And we've got a bit of goods value. We wouldn't pick up that much money that round, but we've got some goods value still. And let's see with energy, because energy is still pretty high. We're in a good position again. I need 10 all up, and the store has 15. Alright, so. We'll get rid of some of these. That's a good price. I don't even mind actually getting to critical level because we'll just be swapping the food out for Christite anyway. And I've still got a few extra, so that's all good. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, at the moment it's a little bit of a breathe easy as we uh, cruise through this. It's sort of it's a little bit of a shame because it's just don't quite have the potential to really get some big numbers but guys we're already at 31 at the end of summary 9 and we've got a few more productions to do should get over 40 should get over 40 so that would be a really nice jump from our first attempt and not going to get any of this land, unfortunately. Alright. Nothing bad, which is good. <laughs> uh, cool. So we are going for two crystal plots on the food plots. Fairly straightforward gameplay for me at the moment, guys. I don't have to do some anything major thinking wise. We'll keep the other energies out there, the three, and maximise our return there. Oh, I've got a mule. I've got a mule. Wampus isn't going to show when you're when you're holding a mule. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Hopefully that's not the deciding factor of me breaking 50 guys. But no, I don't think we'll we'll get there. I think we get a decent score in the 40s in the in the low 40s. But that'll be great. Great progress on our way. Sort of see some uh, good strategies working. 
And of course, it's critical now that we don't get any pirate ships. Oh no, there's no pre-event. So, it's a pirate ship, it's a eating food, it's a fire in the store. Fire in the store. Okay, well guys, fire in the store actually works in our favour. Because we've still got good energy. We've got enough food. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> wow. Anticipation, right? Oh, this Mythor's not going up. The red guy's going to want to sell. Look, I can still buy nine units. <laughs> We're going to buy nine. I think green guy is too. Yeah, he is. Let's see if I can get nine. Yeah, we'll have 50 units of smith ore. Hopefully the price of it goes up a little. And we'll get the goods value. That will help. No, guys. Oh, just under 50. Oh, this is going to be a huge risk in the month 11. Oh, no. And this guy's buying because it's so cheap, but man, if we get a pirate ship on the on 11, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because, I mean, we got one on 11 on the last game, and it wiped us out, like, from getting just a much better score, and this could do the same. And there's no reason why. I mean, every game is random, and you just don't, you know... It's not like it gets more and more... Oh shit, I'm one short of food. Uh, there's 15 though, so I'll definitely come down and sell. But I probably need the food, I'm still changing things out, aren't I? I took those food, food plots off a little too early. I don't mind if I get one or not. I think I'll still have plenty of time for what I want to do. Thank you. Oh, because we had the fire in the store. That's why. So, again, yeah. Thought I made the right decision. And then, yeah, we had the fire in the store. Guys, we cannot get a pirate ship. Whew, it's interesting, right? Because our food is still down no store units. We don't really need to do much soon. We may not even need to do anything in this next month. We might just let it sit. Oh, these guys got no money. Feel bad. Oh, he just got in front of me. Got in front of me. Oh, I should probably sell a few at 97. Critical that a pirate ship does not come. I don't think we're going to change out into food. I think we're going to leave everything as it is. Get enough energy. Energy still fairly high too. So yeah, I, actually nothing to do except go get a wampus. Got 
gotcha. 300 bucks here, so I didn't really need to buy that extra food, so it was a bit of a wait, false economy buying it, to be honest. I can easily swap these out. Mm, okay, I'm, I'm tempted to swap one, one of them. We caught the Wampus already, so... Let's just swap one out. Power and depth development 11. Get a little bit more. Which crystallite plot would be best? Probably this one up here, actually. We can put the mill back. Get our $80 back. And head in for a well and drink. One triple eight five and he's going out putting out the smith ore which is a bit of a shame because we'd like to actually get the price of smith ore up all right too many changes there this guy really needs to get some stuff out on his plots. Okay, he is. Oh, bugger! Radiation on one of our mules, but luckily, guys, it was it was a low crystite, but still, it's just taking taking us off. But hey, it wasn't a pirate ship. <laughs> I just realised it wasn't a pirate ship, which means we've got the fifty stored up. We get the extra here. Why is my other high crystite not producing? What? Oh, thank goodness, okay. There's a high, it only got four units, so that's that's not great. But anyway, we, we've saved the... Guys, if we can get a high crystite price... And look at this, the smithles come up from the buy price, so I will make a little bit of cash on each of those units that I bought on the smithle, so that's turned out really well. So if I sell these, we'll get a bit of a profit. No pirate ship, no second pirate ship, guys. No second pirate ship. So happy. But where will we end up? We seem like we're so far away from the 50 odd thousand. But that means in future games I have to get more land. Maybe I'd just not be picky about some of the land. You're like, you just got to get all in, all land. As much as you can. Okay, 21,000. Come on, Christite Price. Come on. Be high. Be high. Yes! Yes! Guys, 132. We had all our previous stock, which we could have lost, all of it. Uh, I don't want to hold the joystick until we're ready to sell. And they're all going to get quite a bit more, which will help the overall economy. Colony. Not sure if we're going to get over 100,000 for the colony, because these guys have been pretty low, but they're, they're coming up now. So maybe we will. How much are we going to get here, guys? Just in money. I've almost got my previous game score. I think I have, right? And we still have one more month. Yes! <laughs> yes! Made some good money with the food and energy on the way through there. That was just, that was surprising and interesting. Like, it's interesting if that's the sort of dynamic that you need. Plenty of extra here to be sold. Definitely going to sell all of those. I'll take that extra one on the final turn. Want to hit, want to put all crystite out. Um, as long as energy is not ridiculous price, which it shouldn't be. And I need to make sure I have enough extra energy for the crystite plots that I put in and swap the energy out, right? Because you've got to get extra units on top of that. Uh, oh shit, only one. one.
All right. So yeah, energy's at 80. So, and it will probably come down a little. Oh shit, so I didn't have a lot. It's just a little bit of shortage around. I've only got one extra. So if I want to swap the other crystals out, I actually have to get a couple more. The store's only got five units. Alright. Okay. Alright, so we didn't get one. So I can only swap out one, otherwise I won't get any production on the other two anyway. So that's a little bit of a shame. What have we got here in terms of total score, guys? Yes! Yes! We hit the 40,000, guys. We have hit the 40,000. We've got one month to go. Damn, we're not going to get like over 10k in one month. That's such a shame. Um, but depending on the prices, we could, you know, it could get up to sort of 46 or so. And that's not far off. Colony might make a hundred, but again, it's a little way off. I think it's going to be under. But a good result so far. Oh, we got one. Oh shoot, we have the other. We lost a, a plot, so I think I can only actually change that one. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it because that will just boost. I'll, I'll drop a, a production otherwise. We have one extra. Or did, or does that... The critical level might have meant... Normally it means for the one extra block. Oh, okay, well this is a good test. Because I, I will take one of these in. It's a bit debatable really what, if I should do this or not, given the fact there was the two energies right next to each other. But I can't put I can't put another one out. Okay. Oh please! Oh, he moved. He moved all the way down the bottom. Oh. Guys, if I get forty nine thousand, <laughs> no, it's not going to get up there. We're, we're safe from we're safe from any stressful moments of missing a wampus <laughs> to get the the, uh, the world record not going to get there for this turn but yeah this is going to be good go through these guys and yep all in on Christite oh, the old 222 gambling again a particular algorithm happening there Ship is back. Let's see if we get a bump of production. But yeah, 46 is going to be my guess. 45. 46? 45. Yeah, it looks like I... Oh no, yep, all the all the plots are producing, so that's good, guys. So we've got the energy calculation right. Three extra crystite on the bottom right there, so... Alright, let's see if we... What level of 40,000 we are at, and if we broke the 100. If we break the 100 as well, that'll be awesome. These guys have done well with their spittle. No one's going to buy and sell, of course, on the final month. It will be goods value. Um, which is the current... Oh, guys. Guys. It's a dream. And we've got 47 units. At 144. So we, we're going to be right up there. We could be like 47,000. I still don't think we're going to break 50. 
Oh, we don't sell because it's the goods value is the 144. That's all good. <laughs> Guys, that's the best result to have. This is going to be a good score. This is going to be a good score. And again, food's pretty pretty decent too. And she's got a few units, but it all helps. I'll let that one go. And then um, we picked up a little bit of energy, didn't we? So that's at 86. So that's that all helps, guys. Oh, what is it going to be? still think it's going to be like 48 or something. But it's close. More blocks. More spread of Christite. Can get there, guys. Can get there. But there was some good food and energy selling on the way through. What is it, guys? What is it? Come on! First founder, we know. It's... Come on, come on, show me, show me, show me. Show me, show me. Show me the money. <laughs> show me, show me. 46, guys. And we hit the 100,000 on the colony. Succeeded extremely well. We can now retire in elegant estates. We just bumped the 100 on the colony. 46,000. We're not far off, guys, going for that world record. And yet, I also feel it's a big chasm to, to get across from 46 through to the 53 that we need. Oh, great game. Great game. And I can see again where it could have been better, but. I'm happy guys, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, again it's going to be really tough for me now because the next one I post would have to beat 46,493. So if you see another mule attempt I would suggest you watch it. Uh, you may not see one for a while because I'll be filming these and doing them and if they don't make it to the then I just can't use the, the film. Um, so look out for that guys and then as soon as we get to the mark then I'll go and set up my hardware and we'll do it on the real hardware and we'll set it up and we'll have it filmed of course the game's going to be completely random and I'm going to have to do so many games just on the real hardware but I want to see if it's possible to get the figure that we're looking for on emulation if we know we can do it then I'm going to go hard and get that stuff done all right guys let's leave it there and uh, thanks for, for joining me on this thanks for all your patreon guys and subscribers and look forward to seeing you on the next one very very happy <laughs> until then keep on keeping on